If you're trying to get this, then you need to follow along to this. Now throwing fireballs in vanilla Minecraft is something that you can't really do, so you can't avoid the command blocks required to make this happen. Now I didn't realize there'd be so much interest in this command chain here, because my video that I posted not that long ago got thousands of views. Um, hello, are you kidding me? I make Minecraft videos, thousands of views? Okay, here's part two. I'm gonna walk you through exactly how to do this, and what commands you need to place to make sure that your snowball can turn into a fire fireball that can then explode anything you want. And also, every YouTuber says this, if you found this enjoyable or informative, consider subscribing. I mean, I, I have 100 subscribers, so that would be good for me. Anyways, uh, enough of this. I think you guys get the gist. Let's just go straight into building it. To make this work, you're going to need five command blocks, the first of which is going to be a repeating command block. So, you're going to place that down in whatever area you want. It could be any direction, but this is going to be the start of it all. Now, all of these commands will be in the bottom of the description, so go check that out if you just want to copy and paste it. But this executes as the snowball that you throw, and it runs a summon command so that your fireball is in the exact place of the snowball. But that isn't enough for this. That was pretty much the original command that worked in the earlier versions of the game. But now it's more advanced. We are going to need to get this next command block. Throw it on top. Make sure that this is conditional. And we want to make sure that in here you have the execute command, same thing, targeting the snowball, but stores the entity results of the fireball. This makes sure that in any direction that the snowball is facing, we are going to copy that same information to the fireball. So this should be power zero. Now the next one, we're going to go up here and you guessed it, throw it right on top. Again, put conditional. And this has the motion of one and the power of one as well. So this whole command again will be in the description, but you need to make sure that all of these are in there. So these three command blocks are doing something pretty special. I'm gonna go ahead and place the next one on here. Again, making sure it is conditional. This has the motion of two. These are copying the X, Y, and Z values of the snowball into your fireball. And without this, it will not work. You need to make sure that you have all of these. And then finally, we're gonna kill the snowball. This just makes sure that that snowball isn't spawning a bunch. You know what, let's just see what happens if we don't do this. Let's do that. And let's just turn this, um, it needs redstone. You're gonna see that caused chaos. It still did explode, but since the snowball wasn't being killed, fireballs were continually spawning. Always active and conditional. Now you'll see if we get rid of this. Um, did I? Oh, conditional. See, even I almost made that mistake. Okay, so this is good. I'm just gonna kill these fireballs right now. Kill at E type equal fireball there we go gone we're gonna get another tree going here and that should work our whole five command blocks are set up here we have a tree and we have a fireball if you've enjoyed actually before i end this video i would like to say uh there was a comment on one of my videos the other one talking about how they wanted to use this for a uh, like a, a parkour jump thing and you can see that i do get knocked up a bit but if there were any block that was breakable right here uh it would be broken and i would take damage so you can actually change this to be zero the explosion power of this fireball is now zero i've fallen off and lost my little path here but you can see now i'm not really thrown up now this will not destroy any blocks but it will not throw you up. So if you're thinking a parkour jump, you are going to need something like this. If we do set it to something higher, maybe a five, we do get thrown up higher. That's interesting to know, but since it is a bigger explosion, you are gonna take more damage. So if that is in survival mode, you're gonna have to keep that into account. Now, if you wanna see how I made this button spawn this whole tree, let me know. But for now, that's all for this video. Thank you for watching it. Definitely leave a like. See ya.